at once. Be a little slow, be a little late. You can't plan for no shit like this, man. It's life. life. Yeah, yeah, make a move to entertainment. entertainment. We fun in the streets. It's, streets. it's big it's fuck big water. water. Get down and drown. Down drown. Boy Frankie Nino, man, making moves TV. It's your boy Frankie Nino. 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 Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Here are my guy, Smooth Haynes, man. Well, I already know, man. Smooth Haynes. Oh, it's only built for the gods. You ain't gotta play my tape. It's only built for the gods. I already know Smooth Haynes, aka Jesus, Uncle Frank, Smoothie Ray Moore, Siete Grandes, man. We here. Shout out to Frank Nino. Uncle Making Frank. moves, yeah, Uncle Frank, yeah, yeah, yo, that's my um, Uncle Frank, Uncle Frank, yeah, that's my grandfather's name, Frank, you know, oh, okay, okay. everybody used to call him Uncle Frank before he passed. God bless the dad, so I just took on that name, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you took it, okay. Yeah, yeah, all Uncle right, Frank, right, so you know. Right. That's a dope good yep, name, yo, yep, yep. that Frank. <laughs> Frank always stands yep, out. Yep, yep, yes, sir. <laughs> that's my middle name, too, that's crazy. That Frank always yeah, stands yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, that's my you middle name, yep, yep. Dang, word, word. You know what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Answer me, both got this burgundy on and shit. Yeah, you too. already know, man. I, <laughs> you know? I'm trying to keep it silky, bro. You know you what I'm saying? Keep it silky? But yeah, keep it silky. <laughs> but you know, we, we A likes, you know, great minds think alike, bro. So no, you man. already know, oh, man. Let's okay. make some magic, bro. Nah, that's what we're doing. Sure. Man. You know what I'm saying? You definitely one of the dudes that's doing it out here for a while. Yes, sir. Your name was ringing bells years yes. upon years ago, back when the Hippodrome was popping. Yeah, on. man, the hip. You know what I'm saying? Legendary moments, man. Legendary moments, Shout man. Shout to the Hippodrome, man. Yo, a lot of dudes don't know, man. The Hippodrome was one of them spots. Where I know if you could, you know, because you was out there, we, man. You know, yeah, 413, you know yeah. what I'm saying? 413, so in for match, you know, Hippodrome was definitely legendary. Yeah, so you know we what I'm coming from Hartford. Yeah. Going to the Hippodrome, like yeah. to, to see the shows. Make it move in the tank. Shout out to GME, my man Chancey, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Chancey. Shout out man. to Chancey, man. One so, of the top promoters out here in New England. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? He used to do his thing back then with the Hippodrome and all that. I used to sell tickets out of my store. Word. Store spot two and shit, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And I used to come record some of them um them shows back then, you feel me? Just Word. come have me come through and Get some of that Frankie footage. Yo, footage King of New England shit. You feel me? Yeah. You know, I got shit for days, man. That's what the fuck I do. It's in me. It's my passion. You feel me? It's what I do, man. Bring that camera out, man. Mm -hmm. Get it popping. And you yo, being at the Hippodrome is crazy, right? Because, like, a lot of dudes used to perform at the Hippodrome. Yeah. You know? Like, you know, like yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. opening yeah. acts. So, you know, that was one of the places, man. If your shit wasn't right, yeah. niggas will boo you off that stage, yeah, man. Niggas yeah, will yeah, throw yeah. shit at you. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And, and fortunately, yeah. fortunately, I had the pleasure of uh, being one of them dudes who that didn't happen to. So shout yeah. out to the Hippodrome, shout out to Springfield, yeah. always show Don't me Don't you love. got a song called Hippodrome? Yeah, I got a song called the Hippodrome, man. Yeah. Yeah. I was in my prime. Let's take it back to 09, a legendary moment. The only rapper from the hood that had the Hippodrome. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. And then that's, so that's what inspired, basically. Yeah, that's, what, about. that's what inspired. inspired I shot a vid right in front of it. Wanted to get inside, but you know. Is you know it wasn't uh, open to us at that time. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So you, you know, know it shut down right yeah, now. Yeah, shut man. down. Yeah. So, but yo, like I said, man, one of the only dudes that had the Hippodrome lit. Like when they spent my joint off in the Hippodrome. Like I remember being there when Keisha Cole <sighs> performed, man, and uh, DJ Craig G spent that joint off right before the uh, right before she came G. out. Shout to Craig G, man. The place went crazy, man. And I was mm -hmm. sitting back in the cut, just and my my, my people was trying to push me. Push me out there to try to like school man. Let everybody know that shoe. I'm like, nah, I just want to sit back and you know watch it, man. Yeah, so, yeah, watch your song yeah, ring off. Song that song was, that was definitely ringing off. So yeah, before we get into that, man, yeah. explain, explain your background, man. What part of Hartford are you from? You know, okay. what I mean, how long you been doing your thing before that sucker for a nookie came out? Right, right. So I'm from the north end of Hartford, Connecticut. Yep. From a project called Chappelle Gardens. Okay. AKA okay. Hollywood. You know, home mm -hmm. of the superstars, mm -hmm. fly niggas. You know what I'm saying? And um. Yeah, man, I was definitely been doing my thing rapping since I was a little kid, man. I, and I remember being around the older dudes, man, and, and, and dudes would, you know, give me bread, give me weed, you know, get me right. Just to, they, they wanted to hear me rap, you know what I'm saying? So I just sit around them, do my thing, you know what I'm saying? Most the drug dealers, the hustlers, the killers, and all that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, once I got that stamp of approval from them, like that shit gave me the confidence. So I always, you know what I'm saying? Pay homage to, to the projects, to my Hollywood niggas, my Chappelle niggas. Shout out to y'all, man. You know, that's why I, I craft my scale, man. Mm. Yes, sir. That's where it mm. started from, you know? So how early was was it? Like middle school? 
yeah. rapping. Yeah, I was like I was like 10, 11 years old. I've been mm -hmm. rapping that long. Like, yeah, you know middle, what I'm saying? Middle school, joined middle yeah, school. middle school. But you rapping at the, the cafeteria shit like yeah, that? Yeah, I used to, hey, yo, man, <laughs> ask, ask anybody who was in Fox Middle or Weaver High School, like around 99, 2000, like that time, ask them about that kid Smooth, man. We motherfuckers will pull the fire drill, right? Yep. We'll go outside, it'd be a crowd of people around around mm -hmm. us, man. I just captivate the whole place. You know what I'm saying? Got the whole school outside listening so, to on, every word. Man. So people used to pull the fire drill on the uh, fire alarm on uh, purpose. On purpose, yeah. Just yeah, to hear yeah. you rap. Just yeah, to, I'm, I don't want to say just to hear me rap, like, huh. but niggas just wanted to be outside Sorry. of school, man. They didn't want to be in there, you know yeah, what I'm so saying? That. So, yeah, so we get outside. It'll be like the whole school is outside. And you start going crazy. I'll go crazy, man. Got everybody quiet listening to every word. And then when I, you know, I, I, I used to carefully craft my punches. So I hit them at a certain time and everybody going crazy. It was pandemonium. That's about me, man. It was, it was crazy. That's about that kid smooth, man. I've been doing it for a long time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Veteran, man. So was you battling back then too? I battled a couple niggas. A lot of niggas ain't want that smoke, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, Talk about them face-to-face -face battles, Yeah, man. yeah. I had, a, I had a couple. I had a couple, but you know. You know, back then we wasn't outright dissing each other, but it was always a battle. Nah, it was competitive. Dissing, but I'm saying, yeah, yeah back it then it was just who had the most verses. Yeah, Doesn't right. mean that you battling like right, you're pairing, right. you writing certain bars for this certain person. Right. It wasn't tailored to the person, nah, but nah, it's just nah. like, too, yo, my man spit for me from this yeah, side, yeah. he from this side, he spit oh, too. Yeah, and just to be like, two dudes go against each other, who got the most bars, you know what I'm saying, at the, yeah, at the most time. Yeah, we had a lot of those, but, but, but it's like, people still, still stand in front of each other, and you still yeah. like, talk to the person, but doesn't mean the bars are directly like at you. It's right, just, right, right. Like yeah, you we, said, you be yeah. having the, the clip. Right, even right now, you got the clip full. I got a clip full. You know what you know. Right and now, you got a clip full. Yeah. So back then, you got a clip full. I have even more. <laughs> oh, now, more now. Back oh. Then. <laughs> Cause back you then, had more like, back then, I had more back then. You know why? Because like I had more time on my hand. I didn't have as many responsibilities. Yeah. So that's I was solely locked in on remembering rhymes. I had like. Sometimes I had about 20 to 30 rock rhymes memorized, ready mm. to go. You mm. know what I'm saying? Because back then you couldn't run out of, you know, you couldn't run out of rhyme. Niggas was rapping until who, who was finished, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. And like yeah. I had them unlimited. Like ask, unlimited. You know, ask around, man. With punches I, and all that. Yeah, everything. Similes, man. metaphors, yeah, everything. Yeah, everything, everything bro. Things. Everything. So, okay. and that's why I still, I still have a love for the game to this day. Like, because that was my, you know, that was my upbringing. That's all I had. Like, I gave up a lot of things. Like, I didn't want to go to college. I ain't want to finish school. I ain't want to do none of that, man. I, I made up in my mind as a child, like, this is what I'm going to do. And, mm -hmm. you know, I've been sticking to it ever since, man. And I'm going to do this shit until I expire. Like, there's yeah. no end game for me. Because it's a real passion for you. This Absolutely. Ain't no game, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, this yeah. ain't no hustle. This is, this is like a, this is like a, like a, like therapy for you. Yeah, feel absolutely. Me? It's like therapy. Absolutely, you know what I mean? bro. Absolutely. So, but those are the dudes who get on. Those are the dudes who make it, man. Yeah. You know what I'm I feel like in this climate right now, it's the best time for people like you. Right. People who really spit that shit. Yeah. You feel me? Because you don't, like I said, you don't need. Everybody don't gotta be a Drake. Nah. Everybody don't gotta be a, a superstar type of like nah. world renowned. And nah, you can get a bag. You can make six digits a year off this shit and, and have a thousand fans. Absolutely. You feel me? Yo. Come that's on. Nah, but that's the goal. Nah, it's, it's obtainable. Yeah, it's just it's that obtainable. motherfuckers, I get your ducks in a row. Yeah. You yes, feel me? Sir. You gotta get your shit set up right in order to receive those type of blessings. You just can't, you know, rap and just think that that's gonna come to you. Nah, you right, got right. shit like real business. Right. LLC it up. Yep. You feel me? Get your ass cap or be in my right. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Song trust, sound exchange. You gotta know all the yeah. shit. Yep. Yep. You feel me? In order to receive all the money off your music, especially yeah. when you put on the DSPs. Yes, sir. You feel me? So you can get to a bag. You can get up to six six digits, seven a, a year. Yes, sir. And not and you're not even you don't got a hit on the radio. You ain't got yeah. shit. And most importantly, you, you gotta can still go out. With your family and friends, and not be mobbed by a yeah, bunch of people. Yeah, like I could yeah. sit down and chill with a pocket full of money. Yeah, off of my music, and like I don't have yeah. the, the the deal with paparazzi. I don't have to deal with yeah. TMZ and none of that. Like, That's what the label does for you. Like yeah, the yeah. label going like once you reach a certain level, now they want to come grab you and you feel me? Right, right, but right. Right now it's about. Being structured and learning how to build your fan base up. Absolutely. You feel me? Absolutely. You know what I mean? And and, and, and that's the and that's the that's the trick of the game. You have yeah. to learn how to do that. You have to learn how to retarget your audience and shit like that. Right. And right. you can get to the bag. Absolutely. You feel me? Bro, and I know that's what my man Smooth Angel yes, is doing. Uh, man. You feel me? You don't man, necessarily need a hit and a hit is like an ice on the cake. Absolutely. You feel me? Like yeah. once you got your fan base going and everything, now you get the hit. Word. You want a cult following because you can keep going back to them. Like it's just it's unlimited money. Yes. Like sir. it just. 
You know what I mean? Absolutely. That's how we're doing yes, it, man. Sir. So let's get into um when you start taking it real serious. So you're Word. in high school, they pull in the fire alarm, spitting niggas' heads off, you in the hood, you know what I'm saying? You're getting you cool cool sound by the OGs, they fucking with you. Yep. You feel me? When does it turn to the time when it's like, you know what, I'm going to the studio, I'm gonna record a hit okay. and all this. Uh, restaurant with a scenic view. Water that's green as blue. The lady serving finger foods resembles Dominique LaRue. I lost the bet, so I'm the one that gotta treat the crew. Cause Duke eliminated Kansas out the region news. I got Jayhawk Manua. What's so, going on? Okay, so let me give you a little background story, okay. right? Yeah. <clears throat> while I was doing, while I was rapping, while I was outside, I was also a football player. That's oh, also, okay. yeah, that's All also right. documented also. So, mm -hmm. and I was a pretty good one, like. And I had an opportunity to play on the next level, mm -hmm. but uh, I ended up uh, oh, having D one. Yeah, I, yeah, I had to, yeah D one. I had the opportunity. Yeah, what school is this? Uh, I could have went out to UMass. They, okay. was there, they was in contact with yep. me. Couple of uh, D two schools. There yep. was a few schools. Well, what like, position you played? I played D N, tight end, okay. okay. fullback. Like I did everything, bro. Okay. So I was uh, during my senior season. I was getting stingers in my neck. So I had to go uh, to the doctor and figure out what was wrong with me. So the doctor had told me uh, that I had some type of uh, injury to my vertebrae. So I forgot what the uh, actual diagnosis was. It was some uh, big ass word that I don't even remember, right? Yeah. So he told me that I, he didn't think that I should play mm. anymore. So, but he also told me that I should go and get a second opinion. Yeah. But in my mind, I'm like, I could rap, man. I'm nice. Like I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not about to do that anymore. You know what I'm saying? So. I ended up hitting the studio uh, uh, very hard, and uh, I started. Year. Yeah, well, right after I graduated. Oh, I guess, okay. So about 2005, 2006, around that time. So I started going to the studio very hard, and I linked up uh, with, with these kids on the south end of Hartford, named uh, Battleground. They had a studio, so I mm -hmm. started recording there, like, and um, you know, I started recording every single day, and then um, I put together a mixtape. Right? What's the name of the mixtape? The mixtape was called, uh, uh, it was called, uh, Watch Me Get Paid. Okay. So, that was my first introduction to the game. So, I pressed up, you know, back in the day, you press up a thousand CDs, you know yep, what I'm saying? Yep, yep, yep. So, we hitting everywhere, we hitting all the stores. So, I, I put it in this certain store, it was on Main Street in Hartford, and, um, it was my man Spoke store back in the day. So Big Reg from uh, 93.7, he used to be in there all of the time. Yep. So he he heard uh, my man Sp Spoke playing the joint, and uh, he was like, yo, this kid is crazy. But you know, back then we was doing mixtapes, so we was on everyone else's beats. So Big Reg ended up reaching out to a manager of mine. He was like, yo, I need a, I need a, I like what you're doing, but I need a, a, a song. Like, I need like something I can spin on the radio. So okay. I linked up with my man Dios. We got in the studio, man. And we, we made uh, the song which brought me my claim to fame. So all of this is going on within a year span, right? Mm. So we ended up making Sucker for the Nookie. And to be honest with you, I didn't believe in the record like that. I didn't really like it at first. So, you know, I brought it to Raz. I was kind of like, yo, hun, man, check this out, man. So Big Raz heard it. He was like, nah, this it right here, bro. See me getting money over here. Oh, yeah, he said, that. nah, that's it. So he told me, he said, yo, press up seven copies of this, and I'm going to give this joint to every DJ in the building in 93.7, right? Mm. So I did that. He gave it to um, every DJ in the building, and, you know, I can't even take credit for anything that happened after that. Because my man Rez, like, he really worked that record. Like, he was in the air all day, every day. I used to go out with this dude, man. Downtown Hartford, he was telling everybody. I'll, I'll go up to Springfield. He telling everybody, yo, smooth hey, sucker for the nigga, sucker for the nigga. Then next thing you know, man, like 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 a couple weeks later, bro, the shit just blew up out of control, man. And I was <laughs> like, man, this shit was it was unbelievable. Like, so I couldn't believe it. Back then, when you put the song out. Did you know about publishing? Did you know about anything? Like you just put the song out. I like, didn't know about yeah, none of that clear, shit. You know man. what I'm saying? I like mind you. Clear sample. Was it? There's no sample. Yeah, it was a sample in that joint. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was a sample. Oh yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was very, very subtle. I yeah. forgot uh, what exactly what uh, sample it was, but yo, you gotta remember, I'm coming fresh out of high school, like you know what I'm saying. So yeah. in my mind, I'm thinking this shit is still beats and rhymes. Yeah, I'm, I'm all about performing my. Uh, 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 yeah. Performing my craft, so 
dudes put that shit out, man, and, and that shit. Like I always compare that shit to going to like the like the amusement parks and having that helium balloon, right? Yeah. So you got the balloon in your hand with your kid and you let this shit go and it just flow in the air and I, I lost control of it. It just it was pandemonium after that, bro. One song. One song, man. Took me took me to places I never thought I'd be. Like I ended up, you know, performing at the XL Center, Hot Jam Hot Jam Seven. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Uh I remember like I went back to my high school. Yep. And performed at a talent show, bro. Yep. Like, and when I tell you, this shit was like pandemonium, bro. Like, I performed, the whole building was shaking, it was going crazy. And after I was finished, the entire auditorium got up out of their seats. And like, if you if you know about Weaver High School Auditorium, there's like four four rows, right? Man, all four rows is filled up. People want me want to want to autograph and take a picture with me. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So that shit was just like unbelievable to me. I wasn't ready for that. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't ready for that at all. But you know, it was a beautiful experience, and that shit just took me like like to a man. That shit made me believe that this shit was possible, bro. Like mm. like 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 if you really put your and you gotta remember, I put about six months to a year of work into that. Yeah. So. Yo, any the sky's the limit, man. If you really take your craft serious, like things like that can happen. So that that was crazy to me, man. For man. real. Yeah. So for that joint, so like I said, you did you um shoot the video, you wasn't shooting the video for that or nothing, huh? Nah, what, I didn't shoot what's the, the story video. behind not shooting the video for that? The way it was so massive. Yeah. How, it was, did, how did it get skipped over of not shooting the video? Um, at that time, you know what I'm saying? Again, man, I was a young kid. I was, you know, I was fresh off the block, man. You know what I'm saying? And and we was going around looking for for, for budgeting and all of that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we had a few people that was, and you, you gotta remember, like cameras weren't so accessible back then. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was back in the era where you, you know, we pretty much had to like have a. a so it's like old six, old seven. Yeah, right? around that time, yeah, the digital bro. cameras just started coming out, but it was like I think it was a, around the time where where y'all was making DVDs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, same, it, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah smack I'm DVDs saying. around that era. Yeah, you know what yep. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's so. Right. At the end of the day, man. So there was cameras. Though. There was cameras, Damn. but but the but the vision that 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 the people that I had around me, yeah, they had like a a big big, a big vision, like they wanted the big twenty thousand dollar budget Honestly. video. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And then we were shopping for it, but in the midst so of all of that, you know, relationships, yeah, you know what I'm saying, was was was, was damaged, man, because I I don't think myself or others around didn't expect the it to do with it dead. Yeah. And then like we were discombobulated. That's so why it came too fast. It man. came too fast, and that's why that's like success overnight, basically. Yeah, but yo, that's the lesson I learned, bro. Like, you got to get your ducks in order before you jump into that. Like, when you you got your record, cool. Plan out everything else after that. Like, get your music video done. Get your marketing done. Get all of that. Get the budget for it. Like, and then push it, cause. When you put it out there and it catch fire like that, you might not. You didn't know it's gonna yeah, catch fire because you know, know had no, those I didn't days, like the song. You know exactly. You know, <laughs> those, those are the ones that catch on fire. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, those are the ones that catch on fire, man. man. It was crazy. You know what I mean? Yep, yep. So you think if the people who were guiding you back then didn't have the vision of like getting a twenty thousand dollar video, you would have had like something. Yeah, yeah, you I would have had, had like something like decent. Yeah, Cause it's always because if you know, depending on the video, you can sh could have shot something. Right. But then once something. it got something crazy, you shoot the video over again. Yeah. Because now it's going down yeah, for yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, you know so yeah. But yeah, like I said, it's live and learn. Right. Different things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and we and we perform. We put. We got visuals of of like different performances and all that. Part of me. Mm -hmm. We got visuals of different performances and all that. But yep. you know. Other than that, man, yeah, man, it's, you know, you live and you learn from them situations, yeah, man. Yeah. So during that time, the sucker for Nicky was on that mixtape that that um, Big Red found. It was on that mixtape. Nah, it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't. He nah. told you, you made that song separate from the mixtape. Yeah, okay, because yeah. he heard. You heard the mixtape. He, he heard the mixtape and, and he, he said, spinning. "I need some original music." Yeah. So he can spin it off on the radio. And so. then that's what you did. Yeah, that's what I did, man. Came through with that. Came through with that. And then. Dang, he, and he wasn't. He wasn't expecting nothing like to go crazy. Nah, so it was man. Just like, nah, man. So, but after that too, man, I had to I had to take some time off, man, and, and really get my mind right. Well, after that single, yeah, after that single, and and so how long did that single stretch? Like you say, after the single, and before you answer that question, during that time he was making a single, was there any other music was making around it too? Like, would you try to make follow up singles, or were you making another mixtape with that um, with that song on it, or like what was going on at that time? 
Or yeah. you was just trying to run around, perform that only, and that's it. Ooh. Yeah, I was making mixtapes like for the streets and everything. Cause back then, those was that was the time where everything was hand to hand, so we were still pressing up CDs. Yeah. So I, I would like record over, you know, whatever instrumental was popping. Oh, so you didn't do like no original? So back then, when Sucker for Nicky was out, you didn't do nothing like all original project. I did. So no, I didn't do an all original project, but I was creating other songs. But uh, a lot of like the people in my corner. We got caught in the space where we were trying to outdo that that record, you know what I'm saying? The Sucker for the Nookie record. And I just think, you know, that was, at that moment, it was almost impossible. Like, because yeah. it, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. when you make a record, it's much more than the record. Like, that had so much, the momentum around that was the crazy. Momentum, the timing, like, the, the timing, drop. everything. Like, yeah. you can't duplicate yeah, that. Like, yeah, yeah. so I think we got too caught up in that. Like, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I had to shake that, I had to shake that off me, man. So and get back to the, 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 the me loving this shit. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. So this goes to say, sometimes, you know, coming out with a hit record yeah. off the rip can be more detrimental to your career than building up an actual cult following fan base to hit them right. with the record. Yo, I would this, be so this, Do you, you agree that this is where One Hit Wonders come from? Yeah, man. Yeah, because you put so much into this record. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't, I personally didn't even want to get into the game like that. I, 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 cause I'm, I'm a person who likes body of works. I've always liked body of works, like yeah. classic albums, like. So yeah. that was my vision. But you know, once you have something that that takes off like that, then like it's like, damn man, we gotta, we gotta follow behind this record, cause but we might not get this opportunity yeah. again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you get when you get so caught up in the politics of this shit, it'll kind of take away your love for the yeah. for the game like yeah. so there was a it was a time where I'm like yo man I don't even so, care about this no more you know people who are watching you know who thinks about coming out with hits and you know they got a hit on their hands and everything right. tell these people what politics were you going through at that time like some you know, lightly you know like yeah. just a couple of examples like some some obstacles that you were going through when this record just took off like that like what were some of the obstacles and oh so one of the things I was going through again like I said <laughs> was people asking me to make what's the follow-up record uh, putting, <laughs> you know that pressure, I'm saying? putting that, putting that type of pressure on me and instead of going into the booth just creating music yeah like i was doing before i started trying to compete with my old work yeah. and i don't think you should ever do that like i think you gotta just let your our artistic energy just flow man yeah so i i, I would recommend people to what, regardless of what you you make a record and that shit take off, you do what you gotta do to to promote that and do what you do. But don't ever chase that. Like get back into your bag and continue to make music. Like do it for do do this shit for for the reason that you started it, man. Exactly. Like just because you love it. Like I love so, making music. Hmm. So do you feel like sucking for a nookie was the type of record that defined you? Like that wasn't. Was that like your style or that wasn't like you just did that because it's for the radio per se like i would even make a radio song this is not really me per se this is not really like you know smooth hands like yeah. if you hear this song you're not gonna learn about who smooth hands is yeah absolutely that's what it was it was it that type of song or yeah that wasn't that wasn't me like i think uh, the, the the sound that you hear right now that's that's more of me like mm -hmm. like you gotta remember back then uh it was you had 50 you had Dipset. Yeah. Who else was popping? You had, you D know, block, the Locks, D Block. You know what property. I'm saying? State property. So <clears throat> it's crazy because back then I was I was chasing that sound. Yeah. That's what was popping. But yo, my cousin, rest in peace, my cousin Jeff. <clears throat> like the persona that I have right now, my mm -hmm. cousin used to see me all the time. He's like, yeah, man, I like that shit, but yo, you gotta bring more of you into your music. You see like, saying that to you back then? You saying that to me back then. Oh word? The, yeah, the way that I am right now. Oh, that's a good I, guy that's the dude good dude to have yeah, before back man, then. Yeah. Cause so you give me that that advice back, back then. then. Yeah, because the dude that I am right now, like I always had, you know, even though I'm 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 from the projects, I always had a certain level of sophistication. Like now I will always have intelligent conversations and I was always into like different things, man, reading and, and getting my mind right. So my cousin saw that side of me and he was like, yo man <laughs> You a smooth dude, like, and you know, I got the name smooth just, you know, being in a certain thing. So my cousin was telling me to like, yo, put more of that in your music. And it's crazy because when he died in 2013, man, I took his, I really took what he told me seriously. I, I heard him back then, yep. but when he died, I'm like, damn, Cuzzo told me to 
do it like this, man. So I'm 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 gonna try that. I'm gonna bring more of myself. So the guy you see right now, that's more of who I am. You know mm. what I'm saying? And I'm I'm comfortable. Damn, I'm comfortable putting this out whether I go triple platinum or not. You know mm. what I'm saying? I am who I am. Like, yeah, you know, I am, and yeah. I I'd rather I rather go out being being this way. You know what I'm saying? And I think the people that rock with me, because I am building a cult following right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I'm building a nice core, and it's crazy because I have a new fan base out in like like places in like Jersey, New York, <coughs> Philly. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Atlanta. People rocking with me now, and they hear my old stuff, they be like, yo, nah, I, I like this dude right here, the, the, this new dude. Because this is really you. This is me, man. This is what you talking, you talking that, you talking that talk, man. Yeah. That I, boss talk, yeah, man. Yeah, you already know. Different man. type of dishes you eating, different different fabrics we're wearing. You, heard. you know what I'm saying? We traveling different type of whips, you cars, heard. fine for, you know. Yeah. It's that fly talk, yeah, man, that, that you know what I'm saying? Talk. And that's really you, that. you know yeah, what I'm saying? That's me. It's a laid yeah. back, soul samples, shit like that. Yes, you know what I'm saying? So, and this is, that's what's really... Yeah. That's just really smooth hands, and man. I think the universe is gonna reward me for that. Nah, you know definitely, definitely, is, definitely for sticking up. So I'm, I'm sticking with it. And a lot of people want me to recreate that energy again. And a lot of people within my town, they don't, they not allowing me to get past that because that's what they know me for, and I respect it. Like, you know that's what is that dude? That record, like sucker for the nigga, like oh. that was my claim to fame in, in the town. Like so, yeah. they like, yo, this is what I know you for. We don't really want to hear nothing else from you. That's it, but you know what I'm saying? There's other people outside of the town and there's people in the town, you know, shout out to them who are pushing me to continue to push this new brand that I'm putting out, you know what yeah. I'm saying, myself. Yeah. And again, like I said, man, the, 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 I, I feel like the universe is gonna reward me handsomely for, for, for sticking well, to myself. I'm for you to push yeah. what you're doing now. You got yes, my sir, attention you. back then. I'm like, yo, this guy's spitting that. You feel me? Word, like, word, smooth hands, man. Yes, like, you sir. know what I mean? He's spitting that shit right yes, now, man. You know you what I mean? Know. That shit you just throw on, hit that third lane. Yeah. Throw that shit on. You might have your girl in the back. You just say, you got yep. the girl next to you, bed, yep, top yep. down or something like that just going cruise. on. Cruise, man. He's spitting that real. That real talk, man. That yeah. you feel me? That grown yeah. shit, yeah. and it fits. It's like it really fits your brand. Yeah, you dressed apart. All the time. Everything. It just this whole game is just more than the rhymes, man. Yeah, like you sir. know what I'm saying? Like you said, this right. is true to your passion. Right. You know what right, saying? right. The, the way you do your outfit. Everything is just it just all comes together, and it's natural. Though. You're yeah, not sir. you're not doing nothing not out of the ordinary. Nah. This is what you do. You feel and me? Also, man, what's important to me is bringing some kind of balance to the game. Like I see, there's a lot of like. Like like death and destruction in the game, like you feel me? Yeah. And like, don't get me wrong, I don't knock that because I come from that. Like, yeah. I don't knock that, but I think like with everything else, you need balance. So I want to give like the youth and like you know, the adults alike like an opportunity to, to choose from this. Like, okay, I hear y'all talking that talk over there, but I, I got the opportunity to hear this fly shit, and hopefully. Yeah. You know, over time, this will register. Yeah, register, they'll inspire them. Inspire. You know what I'm saying? You got to get a youth son to look up to, man. Like, like I can't, I can't act like them. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I had older guys that I that I aspired to be. Mm -hmm. Like when I was younger, so I want to be that dude that young dudes can aspire to be. Mm -hmm. They look up to me like, okay, damn, I like how smooth moving. I ain't on that right now, but yo, man, I, I might be like that. I'm gonna be like that in a, in a couple years, man. I, I want to get like that, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So all the young like. Hustlers and killers, man. I, I come through, man. They see me, they salute me, man. Smooth. I love what you're doing, man. And mm -hmm. and I, you know, what I'm saying. Hopefully, we could we could we could change the change the trajectory, man. And had them on some other shit. You heard? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when Sucker for Lucky was out, did it get any play in the other stations like Boston, Rhode Island, I 97? Did it? Yeah, I heard, man. Yo, people would call me like, yo, I just I'm in New York, man. They, they play your shit on the radio. I'm like, oh, work. Oh. Yeah, yo, I'm out in Boston. Yo, work. My God, damn, like. So it was all over the place, man. Like, especially in in in, in, in you know the tri-state area. So, yo, I, I'm 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 honored. You know what I'm saying? I'm honored. I'm thankful for that. You know? Dang. So you was getting BDS. You was BDS'd up then. Yeah, like, lot man. Of, lot of, yeah, a lot, yeah. A lot, a lot of points. So where was all this? All this spinning and where was this, was registered? Where all this yeah, money was we going? Was, yeah, where was it? Like, yeah, it was registered. Yeah, it was, it, was registered. Registered. it was registered. But was it going back to your pocket? Because when you get paid, when they do, when you you know what I'm saying? If you um you know put on BD you know BDS it up yeah, and all that you but feel this me? What it, it was only sound scan. Yeah, but it was um it was in rotation only in hot on hot ninety three seven. Yeah. So you know whatever yeah. other stuff was probably mix shows. Yeah, it was just mix, mix show stuff. You know like what I'm that. saying? Okay, so okay. whatever little bread I did okay. get it, it came from that. You know what I oh, mean? Okay, 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 mm -hmm. okay. So let's go into 
took a hiatus. So this song's yeah. going on. Right. 2007, 2008. This shit's popping. It's going on for a whole year. Mm -hmm. You're doing shows. You're doing right. big set. You're doing Hippodrome. You're doing XL Center. Right. I'm saying then things start simmering down and start slowing up. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. So what what took you to this hiatus and how long is this hiatus? Yo, so this hiatus went on for a couple of years, man. Like, at the end of the day, bro, and what took me on to the hiatus was I just wasn't at the current moment, man. I wasn't I wasn't built for the for the politics of the game, man. Mm -hmm. Like, I really wasn't. Like, a lot of people think again this shit is beats and rhymes. Like, yo, but once you get out here and you see what it really is, it's like, all right, I need to take a step back. You know what I'm saying? And regroup, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I needed to step back, you know. Learn about the game, you know what I'm saying? Read books like on on the game, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I had to like, you know, get my money right. I had to get my business together. I had to get my team right. I had to find who I was, and I also used that time to build up the courage to be who I am today. Mm -hmm. Like, cause you gotta remember, like again, like I said back then, there was a certain type of rap that was out. Like, yeah. so I had to like, you know, you come out talking and talk, and I'm talking right now, man. I don't know if dudes would have been feeling that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I had to build up the fortitude to come out with that like mm -hmm. i don't even care what y'all say like this is me man accept it or not you know what i'm saying yeah. so that's what i did uh during that time and that was uh, one of the best moves that i ever made bro so i want you to actually take off though um so i say from like from like 2009 to like 2013 yeah so i took some I took a nice time, little time off you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. But again, like I said, man, like in my mind, I treated that like it was a bed. You feel mm. me? Mm. So I had to just set back, step back, and, and get my mind right, get my business correct. You know what I'm saying? Get my paper right, then come back and attack the game the way I wanted to. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So 2013 comes around. 2013, 2014 comes around. What did you What did you drop first? What did you do first to let people know you back outside? Like, so I it? dropped before. This was like right before DSPs. Yep. I dropped this 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 project called the God Tape. Now around that time, around 2012, 2013, I was building with the five percenters. So I was the born truth for law, you know what I'm saying? Uh, down at True Books on Main Street in Hartford. Yep. Uh, we were building, man, on, on, on the 120, man, and that that the 120 just changed my whole mindset, you know what I'm saying? Yep. And I just took that information, and I was just like, yo, the people need to hear this, but I don't want. I don't want it to sound corny, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I had to bring powerful information out in a fly way. And I dropped something called the God Tape. And yo, to be honest with you, it did great. Like, I pressed up some CDs, pressed up some T-shirts, came outside, man. The whole town was, they was happy to see me back. Mm -hmm. They didn't even care what I was talking about. They was just supporting it. Like, yeah. And then when they heard the message, they like, damn, smooth on some other shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then when they, some of them, like, ah, you know what, I ain't, I ain't rocking with that. Yeah. But there was a strong group of people who was like, yo, nah, Smooth, I like this shit. Like, this shit is uplifting. This shit is powerful. Mm -hmm. So that kind of, like, you know, encouraged me to keep going with that. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that's what I did then, man. And, um, yeah, I dropped uh, right after that. I dropped the God Tape too. That did awesome, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yep. But then, and then, uh, then the DSPs came around, mm -hmm. around 2017. So, you know, <laughs> I dropped, uh, and ever since then, since 2017 up until now, man, I dropped seven projects. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Seven projects. Seven okay. projects. So, so I you started. Came out 2013, God Tape 1. And then yep. maybe the next year after that, you dropped yep, part God two. God Tape 2. Okay. Yep. And did then very, all of them did very A couple well. years after that, you came out 2017. Yep. DSPs is out now. Yeah. And I, so, 2017, what did you drop? I dropped T7A. It's called the God Album. Mm. So I just. Shortened it up, call it T7A, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, seven represents God in the Supreme Mathematics, so I put that out. Uh, after that, I dropped something called Gomar Oz Dubar, right? Mm -hmm. You know, G-O-D, you heard? Mm -hmm. After that, I dropped uh, GQ rap. Like, mm -hmm. I wanted to show, man, I wanted to show the people, man, I'm, I'm, I'm the flyest, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I dropped, yeah, yeah, GQ okay. rap, like, so I, I posted, I was on the cover, you know what I'm saying? It with, with the with the with the with the blazer with the turtleneck and all mm. that, and I had the GQ symbol up there, like mm. so it looked like a magazine cover. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Then after that, I I dropped GQ rap the sequel. Then um after that, I dropped something called Too Generous. You know what I'm saying? And now you know, let's oh then after that, I dropped something called Deny Me Now, Adore Me Later, and right now, man, 
the 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 album, the critically acclaimed claim project. Siete Grandes, man, it's doing very well right now. Mm -hmm. This so is so when you drop Siete Grandes. Siete Grandes, I dropped that on, on um in 2022, 7 7 2022, man. Oh, you just dropped mm -hmm. it um, in July. Yeah, okay. I just dropped it in July, man, and it's doing excellent, man. Like mm -hmm. real shit, like and, and on Apple Music, man. Like for a dude like me, <laughs> this is great. Might not be great to other people, man, but I got a, over a hundred thousand streams right now, man, on okay. Apple Music. Okay, all man. the songs. Yeah, That's man. That's dope. So man. they rocking with me, bro. Like, so I'm I'm thankful for the people out there who've been rocking it with me, tapping in with me, and constantly listening. Cause I check the analytics, man. People listening every day from different parts of the country, man. Mm -hmm. And that's like, you know what I'm saying? That's all I want. That's all you could yeah. ever ask for, bro. So you just put it up there and people just gravitated to, or do you have like type of marketing oh, situation yeah. you got? Oh yeah, you gotta sell that thing. Yeah. So I had to sell that thing. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and what I've been doing was just, you know putting out music videos for the joint, yep. you know, posting pictures of me on that fly shit, you know what I'm yeah, saying? That put a, social media. Yeah, through social are media. Are you sponsoring? Are you, are you? Yeah, I'm doing all that, ads, man. I'm putting like, ad money behind that, man. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm, um, I'm, yeah, I'm creating like, if you, if you go on my IG page, I'm, I'm making commercials for the project and all that. I'm putting mm -hmm. out fly artwork, like, you know what I'm saying? Because this is a business, yeah, like you, yeah, like yeah, you yeah. mentioned earlier. So, and one thing you learn about business is, you know, marketing, is 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 key like mm -hmm. you got to put a lot of money into marketing your presentation got to look good yep. like you know what i'm saying yep. a motherfucker got to see your shit at least seven times before he even or she want to jump on it you yeah because so it's, it's so much stuff to consume so out much stuff to so they got to see you rep repetitiously and right, like, i right. keep seeing i keep seeing this let me click on it finally right right you know right, what I'm saying? right right yeah yeah, yeah. Well, you already know man Dang. so siete grandes right now man check it out man it's, it's fire shout out to my boy cracko Produced the whole thing top to bottom, you know what I'm saying? Got me sounding so excellent. These, these, um, these albums you've been coming out with, are they, they've been one producer albums, or you've been messing with certain like different albums, got different producers, or how's it working? Yeah, I, I only I primarily rock with two producers for the last. So this last seven albums since you came out, yeah, I've been primarily rocking now. with two producers. Mm -hmm. So I got my man, I got my man Cracko. Yep. Shout out to Craig Perez. I got my man Sean Reckless mm -hmm. out in Austin. I mean out in Atlanta. Crack goes out in Austin, Texas right now. Okay. So, um, also, I've been, you know, other producers sprinkle things yeah. in here and there, but primarily, those been my two guys, like, okay. because they embody my sound, like, okay. that smooth player shit, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So old they, school so, samples. So, you, so you're definitely sampling. Yeah, body. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, are you having any problems clearing these samples, or you just put them out and then you just, you know, what's... Man, sue me. <laughs> I'm on the same <laughs> shit. Put them shit the fuck put out. out. But if, if you sue me, that means that my, shit, that, my that, shit popping. That shit hit. Yeah, oh, yeah, you yeah. Know? <laughs> so, sue me. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. Okay. I ain't got, I got nothing to lose say. anyway, you heard? All right. Word, word. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, man. Word, scared word. get a fucking dog, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, none of that. We just putting this shit the fuck out. out. <laughs> I ain't got no time for all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, come but, catch up a beat later, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, but now, on the flip side, right? Moving forward, and I had this conversation with my producers, too, like, I wanna, cause a lot of these, a lot of people don't know, a lot of these uh, movies, mm -hmm. they have big budgets. And you know, they have to use this money to pay actors and to pay all different types of people. So they yeah. don't wanna pay big time artists yeah. to make the music. Yeah. So they are reaching out to a lot of like independent yeah, artists. artists. Yep. So they, yo, so, but you gotta, you know, make sure that those samples are clear or you have no samples. Yeah. Yo, they'll pay you 10, 20,000. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I but, 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 but like once me. that comes, then you just go, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You go, you know, look into it and clear it up. Clear everything out. <laughs> you know what I'm you saying? Clear it up. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm real, saying? Man. Clear it up. Hell yeah. So these albums you've been putting out since 2017, any big features you had them on? Any, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's uh, your whole take on, like, you know, paying for features or trying to reach out to other artists that's in your type of genre to get with them and do songs with them, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, are you doing that? Or? I like I like the idea. I like the idea, but I would rather I would rather build a relationship with them yeah. instead of like you know what I'm saying. Have them looking at me like I'm just some some money. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. get a couple dollars from me. You know what I'm saying? But you don't so, think that sometimes just offering. For them getting your song, you know, first time, you know, builds it really starts a relationship. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, you know what I'm absolutely. Because people are gonna come to Smooth Hangs yes, for a verse. Sir. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, yeah. and they gonna have to pay that bag. Yeah, to yeah, get a yeah. Smooth Hangs first. <laughs> but it, but it's not that you're trying to like not have a relationship with them. No, nah, no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? It's like all right. Yeah, but, let's 
Because they should be paying but eventually, for the work. Yeah, they pay for the work. They but eventually, if you really work. fuck with them like that, after the first couple of initial payments, you're like, you know what? Nah, you're good. Yeah. I fuck with you, man. You should just yeah. you win. I'm going to give you the first. We working together. You feel me? Uh, like? yeah. That's how it starts off. So. Right, right. And, and you know, on top of that, bro, like, I do want to establish my, my own name or my own sound. So that's going to come with it. You know what I'm saying? This still, is still a marathon. But for right now, I've just been focused on locking in with you know my producers yep. and, and getting this getting as much materials out as possible you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying and that money that i could have used the the pay for feature you know what i'm saying i i throw that in the marketing you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. throw that into some ads make my you know pay for that uh, uh, uh that that red camera video you know what i'm saying yeah. make me look good so that's just how i'm going about it right now yeah, and when i come across because <clears throat> again again the type of music i'm doing like they it gotta be a certain type of artist. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I don't just wanna collab with anybody just, just for the sake yeah, of collabing. Yeah, that's like, in your lane. Like, yeah, I, it gotta be in my lane. So I'm very I got I got guys that I'm looking, you yeah. know, looking at to uh do a collab with, but you know what I'm saying? It's you know, we gonna get there, it's gonna take yeah, time and when it when it when it makes Shout sense, it's gonna guy, make man, sense. Um gotta help man my man Fabian. He said he got a joint. My guy, he said he man. got a joint from you. Shout out to I Fabian. I told him I was gonna come to the interview today. Maybe he's supposed to come to me, but yeah. we, got, we got caught got caught up. Yo, shout out to Fabian the Don, man. He Fabian, I've been yeah. I've been a long time supporter of him, man. One of the nicest MCs from the four one three, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So he sent me that he sent he told me, man, like bro, I got a record. He sent that shit to me like, yo, bro. I'm on that ASAP, like, yeah. cause that's that's how I work, like. Yeah. If I respect you, if I respect you your pen, work, though, yeah, he put in the work. work. I respect you, you you nice, and I respect your movement, man. Listen, I'm on it, man. Mm. I don't even care, like, yeah, whatever. Mm. You know what I'm saying, that's my man. He a good dude too. I ran into him out in Mount Vernon, man, just yeah. on some humbug shit. We went to uh, go do my man King Clyde. Oh, King Clyde yeah, yeah. 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 Yep, yep, yep. I seen him out there just on some old. Oh, that was my first time meeting him, man. Yeah. Good dude, man. Very well, 10 humble. minutes away, too. Man. Yeah, it's, like, it's crazy. That's why I be over here in Hartford always trying to connect the dots here. Yeah. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, Springfield, Hartford, really, like. We the same. We the same. We the you same. know what I'm saying? There's nothing, no you know difference. Know you know gotta bring all this together, man. Right, like, right, you know what I right. mean? Definitely. That's why I'm here with my man Smooth Hanes today. Yes, sir. You feel me? man. We trying to connect these dots because it's just Man, this this interview over here been overdue. Yeah, long you overdue. Me? You know what I mean? Long overdue. Yeah, man. man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy you happy you reached out, yeah, bro. I'm reaching out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, nah, this nigga doing this thing and he yeah. be talking that shit, the type of shit I like to hear. Yeah, yeah. I gotta, I gotta, you know what I mean? Put respect on that. Word, you know what I'm word. saying? I don't wanna wait till you, you know what I'm saying? Something happened, <laughs> crazy. You done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? word, now you got a song word. with Nas and now your body on your shit and yeah, now nah, yeah. we ain't doing none of that, man. Yo, like, man, cause nah, God damn, it's about to happen, baby. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know what it's gonna happen man. soon, so, you know, man. We gotta reach out to dudes early. Like, word, you know, word. And I respect know, so. that, bro. Yeah, and, yeah. and you know what that said, too? Yo, you got a good eye for talent, bro. You got a good eye for what you know. Is you know what I'm saying, mm. and 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 an artist like me on the level that I that I'm on right now. That's all we want, man. We want people to recognize our greatness, because like I see myself as as one of the best artists in the world. But it's hard to get everyone else to see that. You know what mm. I'm saying. So when when you when you do have someone who sees something in you, yo man, that shit just man, I, yo, do any man, let's go, bro. Yeah. Let me do that interview right now, man, and I respect I that. And I honor that. I appreciate you for coming coming to the town, fucking yeah. with me, man. Yeah, man. You already know. Yeah. I seen your Facebook earlier today. You know, a couple of days ago, you put up something with Drake saying Jay Z did the same thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So, what? Yeah, yeah, you explain yeah. that to me because I, I'm, trying, I'm trying to understand what, what, what you're saying there. <clears throat> okay, so basically, <laughs> there was a video of Drake basically using old lines from songs. So he would start off a song and, you know, saying a, a line yeah, yeah. that from old songs like, and not you know, just saying. Rappers do that. Yeah, yeah. Jay Z. I, all I was saying was, you know, people were getting on Drake for that, but I'm like, yo, Jay Z. Nah, but nah, Drake did a little something different. He did a lot different. He did a lot more. Yeah, he did a lot more. Yeah, he did a lot more. But but the actual video that we were shown that that was shown. Yeah. It was just He took one line here. Took one line, yeah, two lines here. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I don't think it was nothing wrong with that. So I wasn't knocking. Drake or Jay Z, I was just letting it be known, like, yo, this is, this is normal stuff, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. for real. I respect, that. I respect. That. I had to understand yeah. what was going on. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. No so disrespect. I I, you know I res <laughs> yeah, I respect both guys, man. Like, yeah, me too. I respect yeah, both guys. Yeah, Jay Z, man. man, like, you know they saying? do their thing, man, and you know, whatever, man. And uh, I, oh, oh, I don't want to mess up my opportunity, man, because I might run into him one day. You know what I'm nah, saying? I respect Drake. I respect Jay. <laughs> I mean, right, I, right, right. Different type of artist. You feel me? Like, yeah. you know. 
And if Drake you know wanna Drake wanna get something pent for yeah. him, man, I, you know what I'm saying? I got that work. Drake got a pen. I mean yeah. Drake, Drake writes he writes his own stuff too. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, so I mean right. he's not like you don't write nothing, you know, nothing. Right, right. He's right. A right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you know, he's right. an all around artist. He's doing, right. you know, pop song. What what song uh uh uh, what you call that? House music now. You yeah, feel me? Yeah, that's crazy. He's, he's the person now. He can do all that. He can jump Yo. to that genre, do a house album, come back, oh, do it. That's amazing, bro. Yeah. Everybody can't do yeah, that. Yeah, not that, man. Nah, you know everybody can't saying? do that. You no. Know? Mm -hmm. But I remember Irv Gotti when that house album came out. Irv Gotti got on there and said something about um how it, it's it's dope what Drake's doing, but at the same time it might be detrimental to hip hop because now Drake is the person that everybody follows. So now people might. People who really rap and do their thing, like you know what? I to be a superstar, I got to be able to do everything. Right. So now you're gonna hear them coming out the element, doing songs like you know, singing. Yeah. Then they want to do a house record because you know they feel like you feel me? <clears throat> yeah, I kind of. I feel like you gotta establish yourself the way you like you know, stamp yourself as what you do naturally first. Right. You feel me? Then once you got that core following, you do you got hit you doing your thing. If you want to dibble and dabble, okay, cool. But I think people. Too early, try to do everything at once. Right. You know what I'm and saying? I'm gonna say this, and bro. you don't got the budget for that. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, and exactly. Like, and I'm glad you said what you just said. Like, yo, when people go to McDonald's, you know what I'm yeah. saying? They don't go for a a a, 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 a vegan pizza. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. People go to McDonald's because they want a Big Mac. They want, you know, yeah. a double wobble with cheese or whatever they want. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not a double wobble. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. People yeah. want that, so I think, like you said, you gotta establish yourself as this type of artist so you know and you want to build some kind of brand trust and you want your brand yeah you know you want the people to know when they come to you they know exactly you what they, they get exactly, you know what I'm saying? exactly you don't want to be all over the place, place. doing too much especially so you have to have a budget to be all over the place yeah yeah this yeah, is yeah, like yeah you're pushing different markets different ways you know what i'm saying yeah, we, we need a bag to go over here you need a bag to go over here you know what i mean yo, like and I, that could also mess up the flow of your project yeah so just say you you got a project out and you trying to like, I've heard artists do this. They were trying to like make music for different genres and in different yeah. regions and all of this and shit. Put all in one. Yeah, on one album and it don't flow. It's like all over the place. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah. big on that. Like I'm a body of work guy. Yeah, so yeah. I like to play your album from top to bottom. And if it don't flow right, yep. like by the third or fourth song, uh, I'm on to the next, next one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for real, that's yeah. important to me. Mm, yeah. Mm. So you don't put out like, so you put the body of work out, then put the singles out? Like that, uh, or or you just or you don't just do singles, like yeah. Well, I've done I've done it all, man. Like yeah. I tried to approach where I tried to drop a surprise album. Yeah. <laughs> that shit ain't work, cause mm -hmm. them saying ain't nobody really care yeah. like that. Yeah, but you have to. Yeah, you, yeah, you got to. Yeah, now. but you, you got to like, try things. You doing that? Yeah. So yeah. I've tried like <clears throat> I've tried to put out singles leading up to the projects. Um, I tried to put out a single. So you don't, that didn't work, like yeah, everything. To yeah. be honest with you, that worked too. Yeah. So I've tr I've put out. I dropped a project and a video on the same day. Yeah, I've done that. Like you know, what I'm saying this shit trial and error, bro. Like yeah, you gotta keep. Yeah, gotta you know, keep, you, yeah. this is this, this is uh like I said, it's trial and error, and, and we're learning every single day. Every man. single day. Like once you yeah. stop learning, man, life is over for you. Like yeah, you know, what yeah. I'm saying you might as well go in the grave, man, because mm -hmm. you know I I, I don't ever want to get to that point where I yeah. feel like I know everything. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I yeah. like being in a in a space where you know not not. Being in a space where I'm dumb or ignorant, but I like being in a space where like I'm being forced to grow. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I don't mm -hmm. like because when I'm when I'm around people that that you know I might, especially in a in a particular field that I might have more knowledge of this field. Then mm -hmm. like I don't feel good. Like I want to be around people who know more than me. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. I want to feel like yo, damn, I gotta get on their level. Like, yeah, I gotta yeah, step my yeah, game yeah, up. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying. That to... shit keeps me alive. Oh, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying. Man. And then you know every, everything that's that you want to learn is on the internet. Right, right, you right. Have the discipline to sit down and learn. Yeah, there. That's you know what key, saying? bro. And, discipline. And if you, you know, you got to have that discipline, man. Yeah. If anything you want to find out, Google it up. Right. Be people talking about it, doing this and the third. Right. Go for your friend list on IG, Instagram. You might have some people close that you can reach out that know some information. Right. Reach out to them if you're not a person that I like to read and do all that. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. So the information, the information is, out is out there. You just got to discipline and sit down and like really chop it up and figure it, everything out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's no like, reason to be dumb. You know what I'm saying? You got to you got to you got to help yourself, man. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? Word, yeah, man, nobody gonna help you if ain't helping yourself, man. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? All that crying and niggas ain't supporting me and yeah. all this extra shit you talking about. Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta put something out there for people to support. Right, right. You, know, man? you gotta you gotta support yourself first, help yourself. Yeah. And when people see that confidence, like like they see right. they, they gonna gravitate they to gonna it. Gravitate you know what I'm saying? And that's just that's just the bottom line, man. 
So you know, when you see my guys move hands in the street, make sure you salute them. You already know. You doing this thing. Staying true to his craft. Absolutely. You got to respect it. Absolutely. You understand what I'm saying? And this is Making Moves TV. You understand? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, you know, my channel is lit. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to my guy, Pauly Paul, behind that camera. Spit your game TV. We outside, man. Smooth hands. Yes, sir. See at they grandes on all streaming platforms right now. Follow me on Instagram, smooth underscore Haynes. Yep. That's why I'm primarily at. I'm on Facebook, smooth Haynes. You yep. know what I'm saying? Subscribe to the YouTube channel, the Honorable Smooth Haynes, man. I'm everywhere, man. Come fuck with me, man. Mm. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the. I, I like to call myself the new king of rap, baby. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm fit to wear the crown. You know what I'm saying? So fuck with me, man. You heard? One. Yeah. Yes, sir. My guy, that was a good combo, man. Good. Word. Hell yeah, hell yeah, bro. Yeah. Make it, make it, make it move.